The U.S. First Lady Jill Biden took a surprise trip to Ukraine on Sunday and met with Alina Zelenska, the wife of President Volodymyr Zelensky. Zelenska had been in hiding since Russia's invasion began in late February. On Mother's Day, Mrs. Biden wanted to show the Ukrainian people that the U.S. stands with them and that the war has to stop. After crossing the border from Slovakia, the two women embraced outside a school that is now being used as temporary housing for people who have fled the fighting. Biden was thanked for her courageous act and gifted with a bouquet of flowers. The U.S. First Lady had earlier visited Slovakia to meet with American troops, volunteers assisting refugees, and children making crafts projects for Mother's Day. Biden told them, that the hearts of the American people are with the mothers of Ukraine. Among the families present were those with husbands and fathers who had stayed behind to fight in Ukraine. Everyone present was encouraged by Mrs. Biden's visit. Other U.S. and Canadian officials have also visited Ukraine in recent weeks, including Secretary of State Antony Blinken, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, and Canadian Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, who met with Zelensky in Kiev. U2 stars, Bono and The Edge, even performed at a train station in the capital. Sunday also saw violence and bloodshed after a school in the eastern village of Bilohorivka was bombed. U.S. Ambassador to the UN, Linda Thomas-Greenfield, indicated that this incident could be seen as war crimes on the part of the Russians. She added that the U.S. would work with Ukrainian prosecutors to document evidence that could be used to hold the Russians accountable. The U.S. First Lady's visit is a reminder to the Ukrainian people that their country is not alone in this struggle. The people of the United States stand with them in solidarity as they bravely fight against the Russian aggression threatening their homeland. Despite the continuing darkness, it is important to stay hopeful and remember that the power of love and courage can overcome violence and make a very real difference. Biden's brave trip is a perfect example of how the power of love